Here are my thoughts on the PS Vita. <laughs> Never mind. I'm 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 ex I'm ch I'm checking my um, my uh, speaking because I, I you know I sounded it sounded like I said something improperly. Anyways, um, I've already made this video and went off on a tangent and it was too long, so let's try not to do that. I'm already doing it though. So. This is the PS Vita, and I want to do it in a way that's not like I'm filled with hype. Oh yeah, I love this thing. It's the best thing since sliced bread, because some people do that, and I don't like to do that. Alright, so... Um, I'm going to start off by saying too much money for the system, too much money for the uh, memory card, wherever the fuck it is. I think it's down here, yeah. Too much money for the memory card. Um, yes, with that said, and I, I've heard a lot of people saying that, uh, you know, oh, well, iPhones and iPads and all that cost a lot of money. Well, yeah, that doesn't mean it's justified that price is too much as well. <laughs> Anyways, so we're going to get to the system and try to cut through the chase here. So the bad parts, you know those games, those PSP games, because this is backwards compatible, Crazy Taxi Fair Wars. Uh, includes an option for a custom soundtrack, but because of the way the folders and everything are set up, can't do it. Which Crazy Taxi is one of those games that is fairly much based on the soundtrack, and uh, it doesn't use it because it just can't do it. And there's also an option for custom soundtracks uh, in, when you play a lot of apps and games, but when it comes to PSP games, you can't use that option because it will pause the uh, music, which just really blows. Okay. But, you know, it's still cool. The PSP games look really good, and for the games, there are games that use these buttons because there was no second analog stick, and you can now map those buttons to the second analog stick by holding your finger on the screen for a few seconds, then a uh, window pops up. It also includes a bilinear filtering option, which is kind of like a smoothing thing. It just, you know, smooths out those uh, jagged edges. Some games it looks good, some games it just look, makes it look blurry. So, yeah, that kind of sucks. Anyways, uh, blah, blah, blah. what am I going to get to here? I want to try to try to be a little faster than I was before. Um... So let's talk about the analog sticks, I guess. The analog sticks are fairly small. They, uh, what did I just do? Oh, whatever. The analog sticks are kind of small, a little hard to get used to, but you know, you get used to them, they work very well. Um, I'd like, it would be nice if Sony would go with concave analog sticks, but they don't. Uh, I kind of prefer the 3DS's Circle Pad with the Circle Pad Pro attachment over this, and you know, they're both fairly big machines, and, uh, yeah. So, that's that. Now, of course, the screen is really nice looking. Um, PSP games, by the way, look a lot better on this screen. Um, what else? So, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> There's no TV out, so if you want to record, you have to do use a camera. Or if you want to play on your TV, you, uh, you can't. Unless you have some weird contraption that allows you to play on your TV with a camera or something. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There is an expansion up here, though, that uh, looks like it may include something for a TV out later. No PS1 games, by the way, which is a really big drawback for me because I love PS1 games. They rule. Battery life is not the greatest. Um, in fact, I've not had this on very long. I've played no games at all, and it's already half dead. And I've had it on for like a half an hour. Um, the battery dies. And, oh, I've also had the brightness all the way down as well. Wi-Fi is on. But this thing eats up batteries in one hour for me. I One hour, this thing, i got to charge it. I just recently charged it, and it ate up batteries. So that kind of sucks. Um, by the way, also there are PS3 games, uh, PSP games 
that you can download onto this from the PS Vita, but there are also more PSP games you can actually download from the PSN on the PS3 and transfer over to the PS Vita. However, not every single game works. And um, it's kind of a matter of trial and error or Google because I downloaded, I paid like nine, ten dollars, whatever, for Midway Arcade Treasures and just for the Vita, and I transfer it, went to transfer it over. It doesn't work, can't transfer. So, certain games that Sony would like to remain anonymous um, don't work such as, like I said, Midway Arcade Treasures, and the other one I know of is Mod Nation Racers, and I think there's like Final Fantasy something doesn't work. There's a few games that don't work, so I would Google it before I went and purchased anything on the PlayStation Store to play on the Vita. So, that's annoying. Very annoying. I want PlayStation Classics, too. Anyways. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? Uh, I'll show you a, a couple games that I know play on here that I got from the the th PS3 PlayStation Store, and that's Capcom Classics Collection, which has uh, like Street Fighter 2, um, a few different versions of that, and it's got some other cool arcade games, some you know side scrolling stuff, and like Ghosts and Goblins, and uh, you know what was it 19. 42 or something like that, which is like, you know, a top-down shmup thingy. Then there's Crazy Taxi, Fair Wars, which is that game that doesn't use the custom soundtrack. It really sucks that it doesn't. Ridge Racer, the first Ridge Racer. It's one of my favorite Ridge Racer games, actually. That works better than, it looks better than the one on the, the PS Vita. That one, I don't know. Um, then there's also um, Pursuit Force. Let's do that again. Yes, Pursuit Force works. Uh, and that's really all I got that works so far. Um, one thing, um, I don't know. Can Let me see. I want to try something. I want to try to start a game. Okay, I want to see if I can play more than one PSP game at once. Because, you know, some things stop when you try to play them. So I want to see if I... If I Start one PSP game. Can I get out of that PSP game? Move over, start another PSP game. No, you can't. It'll stop it. Just like it stops MP any kind of music from playing. So that sucks. There you go. Um, D-pad's really nice. Really nice D-pad. Um, games right now take a while to load. I don't know if it's going to the PSP games. They're the same. Um, hmm. Start and select are too flush to the system, and it's kind of hard to use them. I find the buttons to be fine. They're a little too close to the analog stick, by the way, so sometimes you hit the analog stick and it causes problems. Um, I don't know if I... Did I show you this, you guys? There's the bilinear... Bilinear filtering, as well as you can map the right stick to any of the... Oh, you can map. That's weird. You can map the the right stick to the uh, this this. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but you can. And then also you can map it to the triangle, circle, X, and all that. So this way you can use dual analog sticks with your old PSP games that did not support it. And this this stuff I don't know what's for. I guess the camera. Some games used a camera. Color space PSP system. I guess that's a resolution. Don't know. We'll just get out of that. Get out of that. Uh, you know. So really, and all in all, I'm just gonna you know sum it up. I think the PS Vita is a fairly nice working system. It does not have a lot of games. It needs a price cut. It needs a price cut with the memory cards. Um, it is a potential really. Potentially really good system, but it like I said, yeah, it needs more games. It just it has some games in the works. It's got I think Mortal Kombat 9 is coming out. Um, there's some other games I heard of that I was like, oh shit, yeah, I gotta have that. 
and uh, you know, for the most part, it's very powerful. It's got a quad core processor in it, which my PC doesn't even have that. Um, so you know, really nice. The games are very close to the PS3, but it depends on the game that you're talking about. Like close to old, maybe older PS3 games or some downloadable stuff. Uh, Uncharted, I, I, I. I'd have to compare the two because I've not seen that much of Uncharted enough to know the difference. And I can imagine it's not as nice looking as the PS3, but it really, really looks good. They have another game coming out, it's called Unit 13, I think, and I don't know, that, that doesn't really grab me. It's just, it's a third person shooter, and it's kind of generic, and I think people are kind of excited about it because it is a game that uses two analog sticks and everybody like myself is excited to try to play something that uses the second analog stick but it's fairly generic and it's I think obviously you know it's an early game so it's not gonna look as best as it can because they still have to work with the hardware and all that fun crap but yeah that's that so um, for the most part this is the Wi-Fi version by the way I'm not getting the 3G it's kinda pointless and I think that concludes my video, I hope. Oh, by the way, this, this back touch thing is just like I thought it was, it's fucking useless. So anyways, yeah, so for the most part, it's, it's definitely a potential, very potential system, but it needs more games. It, and they need a more realistic price for it. And, you know, like I said, I, I don't want to repeat myself a thousand times. I found a game. It's the near thing. I'm not even going to bother getting into that.